the P20 Pro knockoff phone is something that I thought might be an interesting review and it turned out to be a bit of an interesting review. But now it's time to finally tear this thing down and see what's inside of it because I have a feeling there's going to be not a lot that's in here. Likely metal weights, cheapy battery, cheapy motherboard and those triple cameras we're going to have to definitely have a look at. Without further ado, let's get started. Sorry that was a Jerry Rig Everything reference. I'm sorry Jerry. Sorry Zach. So the phone is completely functioning at the moment but once I'm done with it, it probably will not function again. Oh, that just cut off really quickly. Anyways, how do we get into this phone? Obviously, we're going to have to peel this back off first. There we go. That's the IMEI information there. And that we can see the back of the phone has a pretty shiny reflective surface, but I don't think it's glass. It doesn't feel like it. But we're going to see anyways if it is glass or not. Okay, to be able to get into the phone without using any heat whatsoever is a really big indication that this phone is fairly cheap. To be honest, there's barely any adhesive holding the back down. It's just... Yeah. Oh. Okay. Pulling the back cover off. Actually, it is glass. It is glass, and there just was not a lot of adhesive towards it. And to be honest, I think you could probably peel the back off to reveal a clear back panel. If you want to make a clear version of this phone, which... Good luck. Good luck with that. Anyways, inside of the phone here, we have a battery, which is a unknown one at this time. I don't actually quite know what it is. Just held in by some normal adhesive. But anyways, let's go ahead and take off the frame of the phone and have a look at these triple cameras. Also to note, there's a lot of inconsistencies within this phone. For example, there's a hole here, a square hole, probably for a camera most likely, and then a circular hole here most likely for a fingerprint scanner. So they've just reused the case, modified it up a little bit, and went, yep, we can stick it on there perfectly fine. Also, just want to see if the sides are made from metal or not. Let's just try down here. Yeah. Yeah, it's made from metal. Okay, so this top panel is stuck down to the phone. Oop, am I missing a screw here? I don't think I'm missing a screw. There we go. Alright, finally taking off this metal plate. Yeah, we can see the square and all the cutouts and stuff. And there it is there. The single hole for the only camera. Because these are both complete and utter dud cameras. Do not do anything. Yada, yada, yada. There is the board here. Which doesn't have any thermal paste by the looks of it. Probably not. Everything is just poorly placed. This camera here... Just flex ribbons just hanging around everywhere. The SIM card tray is just here. So this doesn't reveal anything. Yep, there we go. So that there reveals that it is possibly an 8 gig ROM with 1 gig of RAM, which was confirmed in the test of this. Earphone and all that sort of stuff is all there. The battery is soldered directly to the motherboard, which is not really good because you can't replace it. So that sort of sucks. Uh, I will pry it up and see if I can see any other markings to see what kind of battery this is. But I think it's going to be adhered down quite... Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. It's fine. This, this phone just literally just comes apart. No, there's, there's no markings or anything on the battery. But I would say, looking at that, maybe I'm generously giving it 2,000 milliamps, I would say. And now, getting into the bottom of the phone here... Now, for some reason, if you decide to tear down this device yourself, all the screws are exactly the same. They can be put back in any order whatsoever. It doesn't really matter. Now we can pull this little tab off here. Oh. Well, I killed the earpiece because that was poorly soldered into here. Just, just there. And I thought that it would come out with it, and it didn't. That doesn't matter, though, because I'm never going to use sound on this thing ever again, because it was absolutely dreadful. 
but I reckon I could probably solder that back down, even though I have minimal soldering skills, I think I could probably solder that back to there if I really, really, really had to, or more to the fact if I really wanted to, otherwise it can just sit there, I don't really care. I just love the massive gap here for the battery, they didn't take up the full capacity of it, they just sort of went, yep, that's fine, no worries, just stick it down there. Yeah, very disappointing about the triple cameras there. Oh well. I guess I did get what I paid for. I have a feeling I'm going to have to put more adhesive at the back here to put this all back on, but for the time being, I think I'll just put it back on like that. Ugh, it's a fingerprint magnet. There we go. See? All fixed. Alright, let's see if it turns on again. Yep. Still works. But the speaker won't work because I kind of severed that. My fault. And that is it. That is the teardown of this P20 Pro. The Welcome P20 Pro. Which is filled with fingerprints now. It still works. But the specs are just not what they said they were going to be. And quite frankly I knew it was going to be a bit dodgy. And sure enough it was. As I have said. Do not buy this device. It is not worth it at all. You can pick up devices for a around the same price that have much better features. And if, you, if you're investing $100 into a phone, you may as well invest an extra 50 or even $100 into a phone that's gonna last you a bit longer. It's gonna be a brand name and it's gonna be quite reasonable. These are just not the thing to go for. They're cheap Chinese phones. They say they've got 64 gig ROM and four gig of RAM. But in fact, they don't. That's just eight gig and one gig. I'm struggling to find a Chinese phone that actually has 4 gig of RAM, but most of the, the knockoff sort of ones really just don't have the best specs at all. So that is really all I have to say about this phone. Thank you very much for watching the uh, slight teardown and just having a look at it inside the phone. If you guys want me to do a complete teardown and like really completely tear this down, let me know in the comments below and I can do that for you. But anyways, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video, whatever that may be. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.